What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Future Aquariums, Nathan here, and today I'm kind of here to bring you some sad news that my Wyoming white clownfish has passed. It's very sad, and it was during the week of APs, so I was studying for my test, and I didn't really have time to observe it. That being said, this only happened in the span of one day, so and that was a day like right before my test, so I was cramming my studies, so... And this was caused by aggression from the female, the snowflake that you can see just swimming around. And it was because that time was, I think, was when they were changing genders. So that's what happened. And the female would get more aggressive towards the male. And the male would have to be submissive towards the female in order for that aggression to be over and stuff like that. But it's just during a period of time. So this is my Wyoming white and it's pretty sad, but like it is what it is. And as I said before, it happened in a span of one day. The other day I fed them, they were completely fine. They ate like normal. The next day I didn't feed them because I was studying for my AP tests and I don't feed them like occasionally, maybe for one day at most though. And that just happened to be that one day when the aggression started. And then after the test, I fed them the next day. And then I found my Wyoming white stuck at the intake of the filter right there. And at first when I came to feed the tank, I was so nervous. Sorry for the glare, by the way. I was so nervous because the Wyoming white was nowhere to be found. So I just kept looking and looking. And I checked around the tank to see if it jumped out and I couldn't find any signs of it jumping out. And I looked closer in the tank, looked down and it was at the filter intake and it was just stuck there breathing rapidly. So I knew something was wrong and I thought it was dead. I moved it a little bit and it was still alive. It swam, but really badly, like it was beat up. And it also had a, like a tear on its fin. So then I didn't realize that it was aggression from the snowflake at first but once i did i immediately separated them into that breeder box and then i let the rest take its course i just hoped for the best because there was nothing i could really do since the aggression already happened if only i was there when it just started so this is me just on my way to go bury my wyoming white i'm sad i never gave it a name but things like this happen when you sign up for animal keeping so just always stay on top of your animals and hopefully this won't happen to you. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And well, moment of silence for my Wyoming White.